Hello YouTube, Andy with Andy's Dizzy Vlog, coming at you for the third day in a row, um, two, two videos ago, I had a pretty bad day, the day after that, I think, I think it was the day after that, maybe it was a few days after, I started my first upped dose of enlafaxine. I went on the time released 75 milligram and then I added 37.5. Um, and I did a video about how that went yesterday. So today's Thursday, yeah, so Wednesday I started that. <laughs> yeah, so today's Thursday. Um, I wanted to talk about my second day on my up dose. Um, it was better. Um, I did not have uh, substantial headaches throughout the day like I did yesterday. Um, I'd say I was in a pretty good mood. Um, I did. I wasn't completely void of symptoms. It wasn't a totally normal day. Um, walking around, I still, I still have this sense of like buzzing, like almost like, I wanna say like you've had too much caffeine, but it's not the same feeling, it's just similar. It's just like my, I can tell that my brain is tuned in too much to what's going on and I feel like I'm experiencing a little bit above my head and I don't mean like when it's been really bad in the past like but sort of depersonalization and and just too hyper aware of things um, and I really really that, like, that symptom for me is very frustrating because all other things could be totally normal, but you just have this very strange sense that, like, how you're perceiving the world is heightened. It's not quite right. It's... You want to be down here, and you're up here. Unless you feel exactly what I'm feeling, there's no other way to describe that. It's just a, a buzzing, an alertness that is uncomfortable. So I was not free from symptoms. I had a better day than I did yesterday on my first upped dose day. Um, and I did quite a bit of work the first first half of the day. Um, and we slowed down for like an hour and then we did some more work. Um, cause I'm on a maintenance gig now. So we kind of just cater to the client. So we're basically waiting until they tell us go. Um, so jobs come and go all day and we're, we're never quite sure when we're going to have something. But today was pretty busy. Um, I stayed pretty positive the whole day. Um, I didn't get as tired as I normally do. Um, I did add, they're called Aussie Bites. These things I get from Costco. And they're just kind of like grains mixed with flaxseed and hemp seed and chia seeds and pepita seeds and cranberries and a whole bunch of grains and stuff and uh, honey and they're really good um, but I added two of those of course I ate them yesterday as well and I got really tired yesterday I don't know I'm trying to think of like my my diet if I'm um, if I have too many carbs you know because I eat a lot of fruit now like I have my two sausage quiche that uh, my mom makes from the Dizzy cookbook. And I have, you know, maybe 
be this much blueberries and then an apple for breakfast and then for that's at like say 6 30 and then at 9 30 between 9 and 10 o'clock I have another apple and a bag of carrots and then for lunch like today I had this sort of spare root uh, oh my goodness I almost said spare rib stew but it came out funny um, spare rib stew with potatoes and carrots um, and I think beef broth I'm not really sure but it's really good um, and then I had the two Aussie bites and then for dinner I'll have something similar with um, I'll have like two of my sun butter oat cranberry blueberry uh, bar that my mom makes and a glass of milk so I mean I'm the only time I've ever I'm ever like you know wishing I had more to eat is like in between nine and ten o'clock and I, I was just thinking am I having too much sugar and then I'm crashing and that's why I'm getting tired I'm not sure um, but today was less so um, I'm still down on the gabapentin half of the dose that I was before so instead of 800 800 1600 I'm taking 400 400 and 800 um, so you know I gotta give it some time and I don't want to jump the gun too much too soon I know it's gonna take time um, with that being said, you know, today was much better. It wasn't perfect. I really would love if something would knock out that weird, over heightened sensation. Um, and then also, still when I go into Connexes, I mean, it's pretty immediate. I get very, it's like my senses heighten even more. Um, and it definitely has something to do with the physical environment because it's the space that I'm in that's causing it. Now, when I'm sitting down, like there are times at work when, like I said, uh, we're waiting on the client. Um, and we just have to, you know, we're sitting right next to them, basically waiting for another job to pop up for them to give us. Um, and when I'm sitting down and I'm, you know, conversing with coworkers and friends, um, I feel fine, but it's when I start moving around and like, there's a lot of stuff in my vision going on when, when things start to bother me. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Today was better. Um, I went to the gym and just got home. So I did miss Tuesday because I had a bad day. Um, but I went to the gym every other day this week. So, you know, pretty proud of myself for going. Um, I definitely need to cut myself some slack because I'm very hard on myself for not being the weight that I want to be. Um, not looking how I want to look. You know, not being where I want to be with my symptoms. Um, granted, if, if you're in the same boat, same situation, trust me, I get it. I know the feeling. You know, it's been two years. It's like, come on already. I just want to be normal again. So I, I get the feeling of being frustrated because it's taking so long and, you know, you just want your life back. But Try not to be so hard on yourself. We go through a lot. Um, and if you're still working, you know, it's even harder. And if you're, you know, pushing yourself to exercise, then good on you. Because it's not easy to have this chronic condition and go to work all the time and still try to maintain some semblance of a normal life so 
Give yourself a break. I know I need to. I'm very tough on myself. So, but anyways, just wanted to give a little bit more of a positive update and uh, hope for more of these days and hopefully even better to come. So, if you're not trying, it's been a long day. If you're not thriving, keep trying. Go to the gym, take your meds, take your supplements, follow your diet, and we'll get there together, slowly but surely. So, on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.